Hi, my name is Chris. I'm a product consultant here at Slick Text. Today I'm going to go over how to get up and running quickly if you're new to Slick Text. I'll show you how to create a text word, some options for how to grow your list, and then we'll look at our marketing tools, integrations, and some account settings I think will be helpful if you're new. So if you haven't done much in your account yet, or if it's your first time logging in, you'll see this pop up that says three steps of getting started, create a text word, grow your list, send a text message. You'll also see a link to watch a video uh, from Bobby, our co-founder. Um, these videos are extremely helpful. They're all over the platform, and I'll point out uh, some more places where you'll see some helpful videos. So to get started on the dashboard, you'll see how many subscribers you have, how many new subscribers, a graph showing your uh, subscriber growth over time, and then down here in the bottom left, you'll see how many messages you've sent, how many messages are included in your plan, and then how many rollover messages you've accumulated from a previous billing cycle. It'll also show you when your billing cycle resets and your phone number. Now, this will save you a phone call to support if you're saying, where's my phone number? I can't find my phone number. Your phone number is in the bottom right corner of every page on Slick Text down here at the bottom in the footer. So if we're going to get started, the first thing we'll do is create a text word. We'll click on set up a new text word how to use, click on that link. You can watch Bobby uh, walk you through everything you need to know about creating a text word. So I'm just gonna go through it quickly here for you. I'm gonna make my text word fun. Uh, make sure your text word is something short, sweet, three or four characters if you can, or maybe your company or your organization's name, uh, and then choose how you'll be using this text word. I'm gonna choose marketing, and then I'm gonna say four messages per month. All right, once we've created our text word, we're gonna make an auto reply. And I've got a little bit of a snippet already created. I'm gonna drop in here. All right, so my company is called Jot, so we're gonna say, welcome to the Jot VIP Text Club. As a thank you, receive 10% off your next rental. Use code new tenant checkout. Click here to book. Now, this is a fake company, so I just dropped in a link to Wikipedia. But what's helpful here is you will see that uh, Slick Text can shorten your link for you. So I'm gonna say yes, and now that link uh, has been shrunk down to just a few characters, and uh, it's gonna fit under 160 characters. Uh, the next thing you'll see here is the expiration date. Um, I'm gonna make what is called a dynamic expiration date. So down here in the toolbar, I can click on this. I'm gonna say 14 days, which means when somebody receives this text, they'll have 14 days uh, to redeem this code. And just to kind of go over some uh, basics and best practices, whenever you're sending your auto reply out or any promotional message, make sure you include these four things. Say who you are, give them an offer of value, give them a call to action, and make it time sensitive or make it expire if you want people to engage with your message. Now you'll see I'm right here at 160 characters, so that's good, but Let's say um, it tells me I'm over 160 characters. You'll have to turn on something called extended length messaging. And so let me show you where to go to do that. If you go to my account, and then here in the left column, you'll see extended length messaging. And if it's not turned on, switch it on and click save. And then um, let's go back to our message. And you'll see we have up to 600 characters available for this message. But as soon as I go over 160, it's gonna show me 2X and it's gonna um, explain that it's gonna cost two messages. So it will deduct two messages out of my monthly allotment to send this auto reply out. So if you need more than one message to get it out, that's totally fine. You'll just need to budget for it in your plan. Um, also, you can send an MMS message uh, where you can attach a picture here. And if you choose to do so, attaching that picture is gonna make your message cost three credits instead of one, but you do have a bunch of characters available. Um, so highly recommend uh, if you're gonna go over 160 characters, add an image, make it an MMS, you'll have I think like 1600 characters available and uh, it'll work great for you. So let's go ahead and save this auto reply. Now in the auto reply, you'll also notice that it says four messages a month, reply stop to cancel, help for help, message and data rates apply, text and privacy here. So anybody that gets this message, uh, Slick Text is gonna add this, we call it a compliance statement to the end, and that's just to uh, keep you compliant with carrier regulations. 
Now that we've covered how to create a text word and we've set up our auto reply, let's talk about growing your list. So my text word is fun. My phone number is 855-630-1579. So we can uh, make a flyer, as you'll see here, uh, text fun to 855-630-1579. Uh, let them know what they're going to get as an incentive to opt in if you're using this for marketing purposes. And then uh, very important, make sure if you're making a flyer, uh, grab that little compliance snippet from your auto reply and drop it down here at the bottom of the uh, flyer that you're making. You can also drop in a QR code. Now, if we look at the marketing tools, uh, we do have um, a QR code generator built into our marketing tools. And we also have a simple marketing flyer that uh, we can create for you uh, if you just want to print something out really quickly. You'll notice for all these marketing tools, there is a how to use link that you can click on it. Maybe you don't know uh, what that page does or what that tool is. Watch Bobby's video on how to use it and uh, he'll go over everything in detail and you'll know whether it's uh, what you're looking for or not. So let's look at the opt-in web form here. Uh, let's create a new one. We're going to go ahead and give it a name, uh, we'll call it Jot Opt In. And this isn't customer facing, so you don't have to worry about giving it a title um, that means anything to your customers, it's just for your purposes. We're gonna use this for opting people in, it's gonna be a landing page, and it's going to be for one specific text word, which is fun. You'll see the only thing that is required to collect on the web form is the mobile number, and then obviously they have to click that checkbox. Um, but you can collect additional information here. So first name and last name, let's do that. And maybe we want to make this field required. So we'll click on the settings, and we'll make first and last name required. Now, if you need to collect anything that's not in this list, you're going to need to create what's called a custom field. So let me show you how to do that real quick. I'm going to go to the text words here, and we're gonna to go to options and settings. And down here on the left side, you'll see custom fields. So if we set up a custom field, uh, whatever that may be that you wanna collect, so you'll see I've got some examples I've used in previous demos. Maybe if you're uh, communicating with employees or members and you need to know what their member ID is or their job title or you know what shift they work or if you're a realtor, maybe how many bedrooms they're looking for in their house. So there's all kinds of examples for data that you may wanna collect on that web form that's not one of our default fields. So go to the text words, go to the settings, and then go to custom fields, and you can add an additional field that will show up on the opt-in web form um, as something that you can choose to collect. Now, I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail here because uh, Bobby's video will cover everything that you need. You can click on how to use up here, um, but you can do some additional uh, branding. You can put your logo, put a heading, put some text. Um, you can customize the confirmation page. Uh, they are going to have to do what's called a double opt-in when you use the web form. So once they fill out the web form, they will get a text message that asks them to reply with the word yes. So make sure you customize that message if that's uh, something uh, where you wanna put your company name or uh, your organization's name in there to make sure someone who's getting a text from an unrecognized number knows who they're getting that message from. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. Uh, once you save it, you'll see that you have a link to it. Also from marketing tools, if you go to manage web forms, click on options, uh, you can always get the link to your form here. All right, so here in the marketing tools page, you'll see the opt-in web form, which we already went over. Next, you'll see workflows over here. This is something that uh, is extremely powerful in what it can do. Uh, anything that our standard tools can't accomplish, maybe you wanna do something highly customized. Uh, watch the how to use video. You can also give our sales team a call, talk to them about what you're trying to do, and they'll let you know if that's a good use case for workflows. Uh, we also have web pop-ups. So if you want to have a, a web form that pops up on your website, uh, we're really excited about this new tool that we just launched. You can start from a template, uh, do a little bit of customization, and then we'll give you a CSS code that you can drop in the footer of your website. and um, 
It'll you know, show and hide based on uh, what pages you want to show it on. Uh, there's lots of intelligent uh, settings built into creating a pop-up. So uh, look forward. Uh, we should have a video up on that pretty soon. So when you go to the marketing tools page, you should see how to use video for pop-ups. Now, text surveys are another extremely popular tool. Uh, if you need to collect additional information from your subscribers or if you want to collect feedback. So just like the web form, you'll do the basic setup, choose what text word it's going to be for, and then we're going to just create a simple question here. What is your first name? And then we can choose to save it to a subscriber field. So I'm going to choose first name here, but if you want to go back to when we were working on the opt-in web form, if you created custom fields for your text word, those custom fields are available for surveys. So you can ask somebody a question, save their response to a custom field. Uh, extremely popular uh, tool that a lot of our customers love. And then um, once again, once they finish the survey, you'll have the ability to uh, give them a confirmation message. If you're offering them anything in return for taking the survey, this is where you'd put that offer in. And then uh, you can also request that they opt in uh, if they're not already opted in. We also have mobile coupons. Mobile coupons are very popular with uh, brick and mortar businesses. So if you've got restaurant, retail store, coffee shop, uh, you can send people out offers and then they can bring in that mobile coupon. They can show you a QR code or a code for them to enter in on the POS system. Uh, watch the Bobby video, how to use, and he'll go over all that stuff. Uh, how to set up a mobile coupon. Opt-in links are really popular for capturing a simple opt-in. So we're gonna choose a text word, and then we're gonna choose a desktop fallback URL. And the reason you're gonna want this is, imagine if you're sending out an email, and some people are gonna open that email on their phone, some people are gonna open that on their laptop. Now, if someone opens it on their phone, They'll tap that link, it'll go straight to the Messages app on their phone. It will then uh, type in the text word and the phone number and all they have to do is tap send and it'll opt them in. But if somebody opens that link on a computer uh, that doesn't have the ability to send text messages, it'll then take them to the web form. So make a web form, make an opt-in link. Uh, once you create it, this will be the one that you'll send out. You can send it to yourself, you can copy it. Uh, create some more, uh, love the opt-in link. And then QR code generator, same thing. If you're making a flyer, uh, it's gonna be a great resource for you. Text to win contests, unique promo codes. Uh, feel free to watch the videos on all those marketing tools and learn if those are gonna be helpful for you. Uh, we're also gonna take a look at integrations. Let's click on find a new integration and we'll see a list here. We've got lots of email marketing tools, uh, Active Campaign, Constant Contact, MailChimp, and some others. And those are all great for if you collect somebody's email address, either through a text survey or through an opt-in web form, it'll automatically shoot their email over to one of your lists on those platforms. Uh, HubSpot is a popular CRM integration. And then uh, we also have Shopify. Shopify is our most popular integration. You can opt people in at checkout. You can send people customized messages based on the value of their last order. Uh, it's extremely powerful. So uh, if you use Shopify, I highly recommend integrating your slick text and Shopify accounts. And Zapier is going to be popular for anything that's not in this list. Uh, you can take a look at Zapier and see if it'll do what you want it to do. Um, you can always reach out to our sales team and uh, they can connect you with a product consultant if you need help integrating with Zapier or uh, any of these other integrations. All right, now let's take a look at the account settings. So if you click on your name up here in the top right, you can go to My Account, um, which will allow you to update your personal information. My Plan, which is if you run out of text messages, you can uh, upgrade your plan. Integrations we just touched on. Manage team is where you can add additional team members. So if there's anyone else that you want to give access to and you don't want to share your login and password, add them as a team member. You can make them an admin, a manager, or text word specific. Once again, click on the how to use uh, link and Bobby will go over that in detail. 
And then notifications are gonna be a important thing to take a look at. So you can get notifications via email or via our mobile app, which is what most people use. And then what would you like to be notified about? So if you want to be notified, if somebody sends you an inbox message, if somebody completes a survey uh, or any of these options, you can turn these notifications on and click save. I'm a huge fan of turning on inbox notifications. So if you want to quickly get back to your customers who may have a question, first thing you're gonna do is make sure the inbox is turned on. If the inbox is not turned on, you'll go to my account, you'll see inbox in the left column over here, switch that on, click save, and then you'll be able to receive uh, inbound messages from your contacts, and then uh, you'll get notifications if somebody sends you a message, if you have them enabled. I like turning them on on the mobile app. Uh, you'll get that push notification, tap on it, take you right into Slick Text. All right, so we've gone over how to create a text word, how to grow your list through getting people to opt in via text to join, the opt-in web form or the web pop-up. We've taken a look at the marketing tools, integrations and account settings. So the last thing I wanna go over is how to send a message. The first thing we're gonna do is name it. We're gonna call it 430 Deal Bike Rental. Naming convention's helpful for analytics. Uh, you can go to Scent Campaigns and you can see all your messages you've sent out previously. Uh, so having a good naming convention is always helpful. Uh, we're gonna send it out to Fun and then our message here, Happy Friday, Jot VIPs. This weekend only get $10 off all bike rentals. Click here to book, expires April 30th. We're not gonna use a dynamic expiration date here because this is a one-time message unless we're going to send this message out regularly. So maybe if you wanna send this message out on the first of every month and then give them seven days to redeem it, then we would use a dynamic expiration date. We're going to use one of our previously created links and then that looks good, but maybe we wanna personalize it. Uh, if we collected that person's name through a web form or through a survey, we can merge in that person's first name, and then we can put our company name uh, if we want to. You don't always have to do that though, um, but I always think it's helpful anytime someone gets a message, they like knowing who it's from. You can send a test message to yourself. Now, in order to send a test message, you do have to be subscribed. So if you haven't subscribed to the list, test it out, join just like you're one of your customers or your members, and then become a contact so you can send yourself a test message before you blast it out. So if we're ready to go, we'll go ahead, click send message. Um, it's gonna say we don't have any subscribers, obviously, but if we did, it would just ask for a confirmation there. So I hope that was helpful. If there's any questions that you have, feel free to reach out to our support team. You can call them at 800-688-6290. Uh, if it's during business hours, you can click on chat. You can send us an email anytime. You can take a look at our help center. Um, remember how to use videos are all throughout the platform. And uh, if you see that little purple chat bubble, feel free to click on it and uh, talk to our support team with any questions you have. I really hope this was helpful. Um, have a great day.